It's a well-established truth. Feed is the single largest expense on any dairy farm. A requirement for producing high quality, high component milk, there are many factors to consider when it comes to feed and nutrition. Cows need nutrients to make milk, there's no question, and cows that produce more milk need more nutrients. But there's a lot of ways to get nutrients into diets, and, and the feed cost can vary a couple, a couple dollars per cow for the same production level. So what we really need to emphasize is to get away from the idea of thinking just about feeds, but think about nutrients. By switching up the type of feed while still providing the same amount of nutrients, there's a potential to lower feed costs, Weiss says. There are two major nutrients dairymen should focus on. Protein and energy are the big ones, and protein is, is not just protein, it's a certain amino acids and so on. And with what really matters is getting cows to eat. If you put together a diet that cows eat a lot, it can actually be a cheaper diet. Feeding dairy cows high quality forage is an important factor too. Weiss says producers should be aware of harvest timing and management because both influence quality. Weather is a big factor which we can't control. So a lot of this is if, if everything is perfect, you make good forages, life is easy. If it rains for three weeks when it's time to cut alfalfa, then you have to make adjustments. In seasons where forage qualities are lower, producers should be prepared to make up the difference through the remainder of the cow's diet. And with what we know now, we can feed much less forage than we have in the past. You usually, it's less profitable, but it's better than feeding snowballs. If the corn silage is less than optimal, you're gonna to have to think of some options, byproducts, etc. Like any management decision on the farm, keeping production goals top of mind is critical when it comes to profitability. We're in a not a major fluid market anymore. We, we produce milk to eat as cheese and ice cream and butter. So these years and years of, of selling milk on components, the, the producers are responding and, and we are producing more nutrient dense milk now than we did 20 years ago. Producing large amounts of high component milk requires a combination of proper nutrition and genetics. U.S. registered Holsteins today produce more total pounds of milk, butter fat, and protein than any other dairy breed. And they're doing it more efficiently with each generation. For Holstein Association USA, I'm Miles Ramsey.